welcome to vsc statistics students in this class i explain the third method one more method of fitting the logistic curve the fitting of logistic curve by hotlinks method we have discussed two methods this is the third method so in this particular method first of all, first of all i consider the logistic curve the yt is equal to logistic curve y t is equal to k divided by 1 plus e power a plus p t. This is what the logistic curve it is, uh, is going to be considered. And now, uh, the, by the method of uh, hotlinks, uh, uh, we have consider we have to consider the property of logistic curve. One of the property of logistic curve. What is that? Uh, if you differentiate this, uh, we have a certain uh, value d y t divided by d t that is d by d t of y t. It is uh, the value minus b into y t multiplied by 1 minus y t by k. This is what the value of the first differentiation, differentiation with respect to t of y t. y t differentiation with respect to t is minus b y t into 1 minus y t divided by k. You can refer uh, uh, properties of logistic curve. There you will get this one, this differentiation. Or if you differentiate it, you will get it definitely uh, by having it, right. So, therefore, while taking this, uh, uh, I am taking y t to the left hand side, then 1 by y t, 1 by y t uh, d y t by d t it is equivalent to be minus of uh, minus b multiplied by 1 minus y t by k. This is what the uh, value if you take y t left hand side, uh, right. Uh, and it the inter if you consider the interval, interval is not too large. Then the approximation for a, um, 1 by y t d y t by d t, we can consider, we can uh, change it into the, that is hot links has changed the mathematically 1 by y t of delta y t divided by delta t. It is equivalent to be minus b into 1 minus y t by k was considered in this fashion, in this way. This is what uh, uh, differentiation, there is another expression for differentiation, right. So therefore, and if you consider this, uh, and uh, what he was, uh, uh, what he calculated uh, uh, to fit the logistic curve, uh, this is y minus y, uh, 1 by yt, delta yt by delta t is equivalent to b, minus b, I am multiplying with b, plus uh, uh, b into b divided by k multiplied by yt. So I multiplied b into yt by k. A b by k are considering constant into y t. So, therefore, now you was considered a is equal to, for example, let it be some capital A is equal to, let uh, the two particular things, so let uh, capital A is equal to minus b and capital B is equal to b by k and uh, uh, let us consider this is ut is equivalent to be 1 by y t, 1 by y t delta y t by delta t. So, this is what was considered and so that therefore, this is equal to u t and this is equal to minus b is equal to capital A and b by k is equal to b by k is equal to capital B into y t. So, therefore, this is just looking to be a straight line. This is looking to be a straight line. What are the equation 2 consider? This is looking to be a straight line by, by using the method of principle of least squares. We can solve the values of, we can obtain the parameters A and B, capital A and capital B. And after that, uh, again coming back and calculating the values of small b, uh, small b and k. And so that uh, uh, with the help of these uh, values uh, A, B and k. A, B and K. So, we can calculate, we can uh, consider, we can calculate the uh, uh, logistic curve. 
So therefore, uh, this is the method of uh, hot links method. Uh, by uh, considering this hot links method, uh, we can uh, find out, we can fit the logistic curve in this fashion, in this way, right? Thank you. Thank you so much.